Hi everybody, welcome to line of the week number 117, Motif Development Using Melodic Rhythms. This week's line is based on a chord progression you could find in the second eight measure section of the jazz standard All of Me. Here are the chords of the progression. The chords are C6 to E7 to A7 to D minor 7. Here are the chord scales that I'm using. The chord scales are G pentatonic to F melodic minor to A half whole to C major. One exercise you can do at this point is to play through the chords using continuous eighth notes. When you do this, you can use my vocabulary, which I post in other videos and on my webs website, as finger style chord scale shapes. Or you can use your own vocabulary or just use basic uh, chord tones and arpeggios, which is a good idea. For a long time, I just played uh, chord tones to get the sound of standard jazz progressions in my ear. But whatever vocabulary you choose to use, it's important to memorize the progression in terms of your vocabulary so you don't have to refer to the sheet music. Also, while you're even doing the continuous eighth notes um, exercise, make sure you resolve tension by half step where it's required. For example, if you're playing an F note and you're going into a C major 7 chord, you need to resolve that F note because it's non-harmonic to C major 7, so you need to resolve it by half step to, say, the E, the third of the C major 7 chord. Another exercise you can do is play through the chords using eighth notes, but use what Hal Crook refers to as the play rest approach where you play for a while and then you rest for a while and this helps define your phrases and it gives space to your solos which is very important <laughs> While you're doing that exercise make sure you're still resolving tension by half step at the point of chord change Here's some melodic rhythm I'm using this week. This motif is from Jerry Berganzi's book, Volume 4, Melodic Rhythms, used with permission from the publisher. <laughs> One exercise you can do at this point is to play only the motif through the chord changes. It may seem counterintuitive to just play the motif itself without embellishment. But it's, it's, first of all, it's harder than it looks, harder than it seems. Second of all, there is great value to just playing the motif because you get it under your fingers, so you get the, uh, the muscular memory happening, and also you get it into your ears so that you can recall it more readily when you want to while you're uh, improvising your lines. Another exercise you can try is to play all or part of the motif at the beginning, middle, or end of your lines. And this is, can, this is an idea that I took from Hal Crook's book, Ready, Aim, Improvise, where you're trying to construct a line and you're trying to also incorporate the motif into your lines. So you can do it in three ways. You can start off your line with the motif, 
you can start off your line, play a, in, in, using improvised material, and then in the middle, insert your melodic rhythm or your motive, and then continue with a line with new material. Or you can play, you can insert the motive at the end of the, at the very end of the line. So you've got three different uh, options that you can practice. Again, even with this uh, even with this exercise, make sure you're resolving tension by half step and use the play rest approach. <laughs> Here's the line of the week with guitar pro backing I use to make sure I'm getting the notes and the rhythm accurate. I'd like to say a few things about the line of the week. Uh, in measure one, you've got the original motive. In measure two, you've got an extension of the original motive. In measure three, you've got the original motive again. In measure four, you've got a rest. In measure five, you've got a fragment of the original motive. That is to say, the second half of the original motive. In measure six, you've got an extension of the fragment. And in measure seven, you've got the original motive again. Measure eight, you've got a rest. Note the C sharp to C resolution by half step at the end of measure six into the beginning of measure seven. C sharp is non-harmonic to the D minor seven chord, typically, so you need to resolve it preferably by half step. That's it for this week. Thank you very much for listening, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.